Airsoft guns. We can rebuild them. We have the skills. We can make them stronger, faster, and better than they were before. Hey guys, welcome back to AX Tech Tips. I'm Jeremy. Uh, today we're going to be talking about how to check the compression in your cylinder in, uh, in AEG. Um, I rate this, to take it apart, a 7 out of 10 gears. Um, for this demonstration we're going to be using a version 2 Classic Army gearbox. The tools you're going to be using for this is going to be a Phillips screwdriver, and a medium sized punch. And I also use a razor blade to line the gears back up when I put it back together and I'll show you how to do that. Now remember, if you do any kind of modifications or upgrades yourself, you will void your warranty. Unless you're really sure and know what you're doing and everything, I would bring it to an Airsoft Extreme technician. All right, let's get started. Uh, if you want to learn how to take apart or get to your gearbox, uh, we have an episode nine where uh, we use a Classic Army TAC carbine um, and it tells you how to break it down to the gearbox. Let's get started. So this, for this particular model, um, the screws that hold it in place are Phillips screws. Um, some models uh, use Torx wrench or Torx head uh, screws. Um, most of the time they're either a T10 or a T7 uh, Torx wrench. And now to get this apart, uh, I put my finger on the cylinder here, use the punch to hold the spring guide in place or to brace it into place. Just hold this down or else it's gonna pop up on you. And gently push up, grab the mech box, and then just release the spring. And there's that. Sometimes the shims are gonna to wanna to stick to the, uh, to the uh, bushings, to the gearbox. Uh, just remember where they go. Let me talk about shimming too. Pop the cylinder out. And now to check the compression. I usually pull the tap and plate off for this. Check the compression. What I'm doing here is I'm holding my finger over the nozzle here, because um, that's where all the air releases out of. There should be uh, resistance as you're pushing this forward. Um, if, this, if you have your finger over the nozzle and you're pushing it and it just kind of slides forward like so, and everything, you're not gonna get the uh, desired compression out of it. Uh, what I usually use to for the compression is I use silicone grease. And what I usually do is I'll either pull this O-ring off of the piston head and I'll do what they call massaging the o-ring or just basically you're just stretching it out. Put that back on the piston head. Get a little bit of the grease. Should be a good amount right there. And then I'll line, or I'll put some inside the cylinder. Just kind of evenly disperse it in there. Now you're ready to check the compression once again. Now there's a lot of resistance there. That's good. Another thing that will happen too is sometimes on the nozzle, air will leak around it. So what I usually do is I'll just get a little bit of silicone. It also helps it move a little bit smoother. So I put a little bit on there. Check it. And that's pretty good. Ok, 
Grab your medium punch and you're ready to put it back together. I put this in the spring guide. That's why I use that razor blade. Just make sure everything's just kind of lined up. So I usually use a razor blade to line the gears back into these the, the bushings, these holes, and also the uh, and reverse latch. And I also use it if it's real nice in between the if the uh, piston is not lined up right or it's not on track. If it's kind of gapped like that, you can kind of get in there a little bit easier than you can with like uh, you know a screwdriver or anything else. Um, just kind of push it back together. You can line it up right. You know, you can also get in the, if you, the, these gears are not getting into place, whatnot. You can just kind of, you know, position it that way. That's what I use. Um, I just find it's a little bit easier. It's thin. It gets in the, the gaps a little bit easier, whatnot. Um, if you're going to cut yourself, just dull this out, you know, just dremel it down, file it, whatever. Make sure there's no gaps and you're ready to start putting it back together. All right, now we got it all back together. Let's, uh, let's go check the compression that we just did. We'll uh, test out the velocity and uh, see how it goes. That's been this edition of Tech Tips. I'm Jeremy and you have a good night.